I'm going to show you 12 tips and tricks in Microsoft Teams. Let's just start. So when you're posting a message in a channel, do you know how many people can actually see that message? Sure, you can go up in the upper right corner, you can click the information button here and you can see there are three members in this channel. But what if Microsoft made a more convenient way of seeing this, right? And they did, they just hit it. <laughs> so I click on this um, in the menu on the uh, general channel and click on manage channel and click on this anyone can post show alert that posting will notify everyone and it is recommended for larger teams i go back to the general channel and now when i start a new conversation there's a banner on top of where i'm writing that says three people will see this message microsoft teams now have a dark mode and you can enable that by clicking on your profile and then on manage account general and there's your dark mode you can save messages just click right here and save this message and you can find those messages by clicking on your profile and on saved so you probably know that you can mention someone by typing the uh, at sign and then their name so i'm going to mention johnny say johnny mcgregor look at this now johnny will get a special notification that i've actually um, mentioned him and you can do this in um, for the whole team as well so at and then the team name and everyone in this team will get a notification but did you know that you can make your own tags? So the way you do that is you go in the option menu on your team and click on manage tags and create tag and a tag name. So I'm just gonna call this VIP and I'm gonna add Johnny and I'm gonna add myself and create. So how can I use this? I'm just going to start a new conversation, type the at sign and then VIP. And it's going to say that there are two people that have this tag. So both Johnny and Thomas is going to get a notification that something's happening here. Right. After using Teams for a while, you might find yourself uh, a member of a lot of teams and you have to sort of manage those teams in a way so you'll be using some teams more than others and um, you can actually pin channels so i'm just going to pin this video idea channel click on pin and it will appear at the top of my list of all my channels so that's one way of making it um, easier to find you can also hide channels so i'm just going to hide this tech support channel in my project manager team hide you can still find it it just says one hidden channel and i'll click on that and then show and it's back you can also hide entire teams so i'm just going to hide the uh, project manager team hide and it's going to appear under hidden teams right here and you can make it appear again by clicking show you can post to multiple channels at once so click on new conversation click on this little button right here and <clears throat> post in multiple channels so you select channels and it's gonna post to the uh, general channel by default but you can add other channels in your team, like the Prince2 channel, but also channels in other teams. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna add the uh, general channel in the Please Restart team. So now I'm posting to three channels in two different teams, and it's the same message. So I might write something like, and then just post it like uh, normal. 
So now my message goes into the uh, general channel. I can also find the exact same message in the Prince2 channel and also in my second team right here. So in your document library in a channel, you can um, pin files to make them more visible. So just mark your file right here and pin to top. And it's going to show up at the top and it's going to show you the first page. And if it's a PowerPoint file, it's going to show you the first slide and so on. And you can have multiple files pinned at the same time too. So pin to the top, there you go, two files. To unpin them, just mark them again and edit pin and unpin. You can make your post stand out from the crowd by using something called announcements. So I'm just gonna start a new conversation, click on this little button right here. And instead of a new conversation, I'm gonna choose announcement. And now you can have this little um, colored header. Um, you can choose a color here. Or you can even upload your own photos if you want as a background. So I'm just gonna choose this color and I'm gonna write something like this. <laughs> and there you go. It stands out from the crowd. You can add whiteboards to your channel. Click on this and then whiteboard. There you go, we have a whiteboard. You can add photos, post-it notes. You can make a team stand out from other teams by adding a picture. So just click on this option menu and manage team. Click on this little pencil and then you can upload a picture. And click save. So if you change your availability status to say do not disturb, you notice that Teams tells you that your status is set to do not disturb. You'll only get notifications for urgent messages and from your priority contacts. So what does that mean? Um, what are priority contacts? Priority contacts are contacts that will get through to you no matter what status you change to. And I want Johnny to have priority access. So I'll change settings manage priority access and I'll add Johnny. So now Johnny will get through to me no matter what. You can schedule an out of office message that syncs to Microsoft Outlook. So click on your profile and click on set status message. We're not going to do that. We're going to click on schedule out of office. turn on automatic replies and then just click on save. I hope you got value out of this video. Maybe you can use some of these tips and tricks in your professional life. I'll be trying to um, add more of these videos and uh, I'll put a playlist up as well. So um, if you did get value, please hit the like button, subscribe if you want and look out for that playlist.